Hey guys, it's Jeff with uh, voiceapps.com. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add monetization to your Alexa skills. Alexa allows you to monetize your skills in a couple of ways. Uh, one, you can add a subscription to your skill such that if you have some premium content, users would have to pay a monthly or a yearly fee to access that content. You can also do a one-time purchase for things like Let's say you have an adventure game and you want to sell them the epic crossbow that's the, the best weapon in the game. They can buy that through a one-time purchase. So what we're going to show you today is how to add a uh, subscription, but adding a one-time purchase is very similar. I've created just a basic game here, a very simple game. It's not fully built out. It's just for demonstration purposes. But this is a very simple game that welcomes you, starts the game, and then you can choose either level one or level two. And if we look here at the responses for level one, it's just saying level one starts now. Level two is doing the same thing. It's just saying level two starts now. So again, just the, the shell of a game to show you the concept of how to monetize your skill. First of all, we're going to make it so that level two is premium content. And I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to show how to monetize that and actually make it so that your users have to pay the subscription to access that content and of course they'll do all of this with their voice but I'll show you how easy it, that is to do with voice apps so let's go ahead and get started so again right now when I say level 2 the game just says level 2 starts now what we want to do is make level 2 premium content such that there's a, a gate on it that they have to to unlock to actually get into the to level 2 so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the welcome block here and we're going to go to the data tab and we're going to create a, a variable and we're going to call that uh, is premium member. So we're going to keep track of whether or not this particular user is a premium member and has access to the content. So we're going to set that to zero for now, which means false. Uh, so zero is going to be that they're not a member and one is going to be true or that they are a member for these purposes. So now I've set the variable. Again, we're just gonna default it to zero right now. And then we're gonna go over here to level two. And right now the response is level two starts now. What we wanna do is only allow them to start level two when is premium member equals one. When uh, they are a premium member, then we wanna allow them to access this content. Okay, we're gonna add another response group, which is just another uh, type of response that we can put a, a when clause around, a conditional. And in this, we're going to say when is premium member equals zero. So when they're not a premium member, this is the message that they're going to get. And we're going to say uh, level two is only available to premium members. say membership to learn more. Okay, so now if we uh, run our skill, and I can do that for you real quick. Uh, right now we are not a premium member, so if I go ahead and start the skill. Welcome to Epic Adventure. To start a new game, say level one or level two. And I'll say level two. Level two is only available to premium members. Say membership to learn more. So great, so we've locked our, our uh, skill down such that in order to access level two, uh, we have to be a premium member. Right now we're not a premium member, uh, but we're gonna unlock that through the monetization features uh, of Alexa. We told them over here, level two, that this is a premium membership, say membership to learn more. So we're gonna create a new intent so that the uh, users can actually say membership, and we'll call this membership. And uh, over here on the activation tab, by what the user says, we're going to let the user say membership or start membership, something like that. And then actually not going to have a response for this, but we are going to have a next action. So on the next actions tab, you'll see that we have a new option, two new options actually, buy in skill product and cancel in skill product. For this, we're going to choose buy in skill product because we want the user to be able to purchase our subscription. So subscriptions and one-time payments are both considered products for the purposes of monetization on Alexa. So we're going to choose buy and skill products and that's going to give me an option to choose a product 
uh, or manage products. Since we don't have any products yet, we're going to manage products which will allow us to create one. And that'll bring up this uh, product list. And of course, we don't have any products. So I'll just go ahead and click Create Product. And we're going to create a new product for this subscription. And we're just going to call it Premium Subscription. And we'll give it a price. We'll choose a subscription. So we'll choose monthly here. And we're going to make this uh, $2.99 a month. Uh, we have an option to give a trial period. So we could give you know up to 30 days of a trial period before the actual first payment gets started. The purchase prompt is what's gonna actually be said to the user when going through the purchase process. So we're gonna say the Epic Adventure Premium Subscription is awesome. Buy it now. And again, you would put whatever text that you want for yours. Uh, the bought card description means after we've uh, purchased the product, uh, this is going to show up as a home card in our Alexa app. So we'll just give, call it uh, the Epic Adventure Premium Subscription. And then we'll give it a privacy policy. Again, we're purchasing products and actually asking people for money. So we want to actually provide our privacy policy. So, so we'll just uh, give that as a, as a privacy. Uh, then we have a few other things. This is the Epic Adventure Premium Membership. Uh, the summary and description is for when we display it actually on Amazon.com or in the Alexa app. Uh, this is the description of those products that will show up there. So Epic Adventure Premium Membership. And I'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, let's see. Premium membership and that's good for keywords again these are keywords that allow people to search for your uh, premium membership within your skill uh, we'll give this thing an icon and uh, let's see I just like this one that's good for the icon uh, we need to give at least one example phrase and then and then we can go ahead and click create Okay, so now we've got our premium subscription product created, and I can just go ahead and close this out. And now over here, when it says which product, I can choose premium subscription. So what this is gonna do is when the user says membership or, or purchase a membership or buy a membership, it's actually going to call off to an Alexa specific function, which is going to actually walk the user through buying our product that we just set up. And you'll see how that works in just a minute. What's going to happen after the user goes through the process, assuming they accept that purchase, they're going to get sent back to your skill. And we need a way to cap capture that and be able to give them some additional information. So what we're going to do here is add a new intent and it's going to be called membership accept. And what this is going to do is on our activation tab, you'll see these new intent activation options down here. We want to choose in skill product by accept. So when they go through the buy process and they accept it, in other words, they say, yes, I want to buy this skill is going to call back to this particular intent. And then we can take action, say, congratulations, whatever we want to do. Similarly, you'll see that we have decline and already purchased. So you can take appropriate action there and give them, you know, custom messaging for when they take those actions. You'll see similarly, we can do the same thing for cancel and uh, we'll get to that in a few minutes. But right now we want to use the in skill product by accept. So when they accept the in skill product purchase, what we want to do is just give them a message that says, uh, congratulations, you can now access our premium content. Something like that. So we have one more thing to do here. Uh, on the membership accept, we actually want to now set the is premium member to, to one, to true. And uh, we'll go ahead and click add. What this is gonna do is after they go through the process of uh, purchasing the membership and they use the uh, credit card on file to actually purchase your, your product, it's gonna go to the membership accept, which means they accepted that the uh, purchase. And then we are going to make them a premium member when the user opens the skill in the future, we'll want to be able to see if they've already purchased this product. And we'll want to set the is premium member variable to true if they've already purchased this product. So I'll show, go ahead and show you how to do that. So if we go back over here to the welcome block, 
again on the data tab right now we're setting the is premium member variable to zero just as a default uh, so we have this new function down here Ver verify in skill product so we want to go ahead and add that and you'll see it's very similar uh, we're going to choose the product in this case we've already created it so we'll just select our premium subscription and then we have the option to set this variable to one true or zero which is false if the user is entitled to it or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually call off to Amazon, uh, to Alexa, and we're gonna say, is this user that's using my skill right now enabled or qualified for this particular product? Have they purchased this product before? And if yes, we're gonna assign the is, is premium member variable to one. If they're not, we're gonna set it to zero. So essentially it's going to do the same thing that we were doing up here with set state manually. It's going to do it automatically. That's it. So now we have when the skill opens or is launched, we're going to check whether or not the user is entitled to this premium subscription product. If they are, we're going to set the is premium member variable to true. If it's not, we're going to set it to false. And then of course you saw early on where level two is checking for when is premium member equals one then it's gonna go ahead and start level two. Is premium member is false, if it's zero, then we're gonna say it's only available to premium members. So we're just gonna give a response that determines whether or not they're eligible for this particular product. So the only thing we need to do now is now that they've purchased their premium membership, we need to give them a way to cancel it. So the way we do that is just with the new intents, very similar to what we just did for membership, and we'll call this cancel membership. Okay. And on our activation tab, cancel membership. So the user can say cancel membership or cancel my membership or cancel subscription. And again, we would fill these out with as many things as we thought were appropriate. People might say uh, when they want to cancel their membership. Okay, we're not going to have any responses for this one uh, either, but on our next action, uh, last time we chose the buy in skill product, this time we want to choose cancel in skill product. Which product do we want to cancel? Uh, premium membership. So that's it. So now when uh, the user purchases the, the product, they can go through membership and actually purchase it. Uh, it'll set the premium membership, is premium member uh, equal to one if they are. And uh, then we can access the premium content. When we want to cancel our subscription, we can just now say cancel subscription and we'll actually cancel the subscription. We don't want to set the uh, is premium member to false here because by default, the user would still be allowed to continue to use your premium content until the next subscription is due. So if they had paid you know, for this month, they'd continue to be able to use it uh, for the rest of the month. So you don't want to set it to false. It'll happen naturally because over here on the welcome block, remember, we chose to verify in skill product. So each time the skill opens, we're going to check to see whether that user is entitled to this product or not. If they've canceled their subscription, once their subscription period ends, then their verify in skill product will return that they aren't eligible for this product anymore. So now we'll go ahead and publish our skill so that we can test it in the Amazon developer console. All right, so it's deployed and now we'll switch over to our uh, Amazon developer console and go back to our skills. Got a couple of builds that have completed and we see here our epic adventure right here. So let's go ahead and edit that. And it's still building, so let's give that just a second to build. The uh, skill has now built. We'll go ahead and uh, go over here and we'll enable it for testing. And we'll go ahead and uh, test our skill out. So let's open Epic Adventure. Welcome to Epic Adventure. To start a new game, say level one or level two. And let's say level two. Level two is only available to premium members. Say membership to learn more. Okay, so we don't have access right now, so let's say membership. Premium subscription is $2.99 a month plus tax. Then you'll be automatically charged every month. Cancel any time. Check the Alexa app for terms. Should I sign you up? Okay, and so our skill sent the product purchase off to Amazon, and Amazon actually provided this. So our user said membership. We passed the uh, execution off to Alexa, and Alexa and Amazon are providing this to us. 
Uh, we can now say yes. We're interacting with that monetization system. I'll go ahead and say yes that we want to sign up. Great. Great. You're, You're signed, signed up. up. Congratulations. Congratulations. You can, can now access, access our premium, premium content. content. Okay, so now we're back in the skill. It said, congratulations, you can now access our premium content and we're ready to go. So let me refresh this and we'll start over and open the skill again. Welcome, Welcome to Epic, Epic Adventure. Adventure. To, to start, start a new game, game say level, level one, one or level two. two. And we'll go ahead and try level two. Level, level two, two starts now. now. Awesome, we now are premium members and our uh, premium content is available to us. So I hope this video helped you uh, learn how easy it is to add monetization to your Alexa skills. Again, if you already have a skill built in voice apps, it's really easy. You just need to add uh, three more intents. You can be add monetization and be charging for you know that content that you've worked so hard to create. You know, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and hit us up on the, the live chat or send us an email at support at voiceapps.com. And we'll see you in the next video.